God is with us. Hey, Emmanuel, God is with us. I got a letter from a subscriber. They sent it through my private email. I didn't even know my private email was on my, my site, but evidently it was, or I'm just not that hard to find. <laughs> Either way, they took the effort to um, contact me. I decided a long time ago to do this um, special every Halloween where I discuss the paranormal, the supernatural, and different things like that. And it's not discussed or talked about, even though it's affecting us. God is good. He, he, he uses the little, the small, and the great. And um, he asked, he was so arduent asking me, do I know of anybody who can cast the devil out and who can remove curses and spells and, you know, evil that people put on you in the supernatural world? Now, we like to think, I don't have a lot of money myself, so we like to think, oh, if I had that money, I'd be happier. I happen to know I'm happy now. My happiness is inside of myself. Um, I'd like to be more accomplished in the carnal world, but I am not going to let that determine whether I am happy or not because my happiness comes from Jesus Christ. Yes, I know the perfect person to cast out your spells, the perfect person to cast out your demons, the perfect person to take control over what's bothering you. It's you. You have the power. The things that you're under, the things that are cursing you, the things that are harming you, I know that Jesus has put the Spirit of God and giving you the thought he has spoke the word and giving you the authority over these things and all you have to do is reach out and exercise it and these spells curses charms all that they will have to leave you it's ultimately always our own authority to cast the devil out of ourselves every time you saw in the Bible, a demon-possessed person coming running up to Jesus. I'm telling you, there was not one devil that wanted to run up to Jesus. Not one. And this person's considered demon-possessed. This was a guy who was living in a graveyard. Under the influence of the Holy Ghost, we all can break chains. We all can break curses. We can break things. We can do things that seem unnatural. Because we are supernatural beings inside. So, um, yeah, so I told him that. And God bless him. He sent me an email back. And I could tell he was laughing at me when he got that email back to me. He's like, she obviously does not know who I am. She don't know me. Let me explain who I am to her. And he explained that he was not a Christian. That he not only went to um, Christians in order to get the devil cast out of them, he went to other religions and he went to um, witches and different things like that. Anybody who he thought had power that could help him. And, you know, he hasn't been able to get it done yet. I fully understood at that point what God was saying. I'm going to explain it to you. Say, um, I, I, I would have to use my freeway, but... You could use any freeway. Say I get on my freeway, and I'm in Los Angeles, California, and I want to go drive to San Francisco, and I get on my freeway going north. It's going to take me eight hours to get to San Francisco, but I'm in a hurry. I want to get there faster, but I want to drive there. So I drive straight for about 10 minutes, and then I get off the freeway and turn around and go the other direction. And then I do that again, and I get back on the freeway, and I go the other direction. I am never going to get to San Francisco. I'm driving in a circle. I'm driving north, and then I'm coming, and I'm driving south. And I haven't decided which way is going to take me to San Francisco. I don't know which direction to go. It's not that he doesn't have the power. It's that he doesn't know which 
freeway goes to San Francisco. So he's getting on the freeway to San Francisco, and then he doesn't get there. So he thinks it's not going to get him to San Francisco. So then he sees somebody and says, I can get you to San Francisco. And that person sends him down south. And that would be, for me, San Diego. So he gets going on the, that freeway for a while. And then he says, oh, this isn't working. I'm not getting to San Francisco. Well, you can never get to San Francisco going in a circle. You got to go north. That's the way to heaven. If you go south, that's the way to hell. Now, here's the thing. This is why it gets confusing. The people who are being used by the Holy Spirit to go north have power. Watch this. The people who are being used by the devil to go south to hell. They have power. We're on the earth plane. All of us have authority over this earth. So the people who can see into the spirit and into the spirit realm and know how to manipulate it, they can heal the sick. Yeah, they can heal these bodies. The people going to heaven can heal these bodies. The people going to hell can heal these bodies. They have money. I mean, it's in the Bible. The devil tempted Jesus Christ himself with money. He said, if you bow down and worship me, I'll give you this. Good, good. So they have money. They can give you money. They can give you things that can get you wealth. I'm not saying they will, but they can. And, um... We Christians, although um, in the United States of America, most of us Christians are under the affliction of greed. But if we weren't under the affliction of greed on those moments where we get set free, we can give you money. We give away a lot of money. Jesus is the one who created all things. So, yeah, we can tap in and get whatever we want. And we could give it to you if we weren't so selfish and greedy. So you see that on both sides of the equation. And so that's why a person could be, well, this side gives me money. This side gives me money. This side can heal the sick. This side can heal the sick. This side will pray for me to get a husband. This side will pray for me to get a husband. There's no difference in those things. What's the difference? I alluded to it at the beginning of this video. The side that's going south, going down, down, down to the pit. They can't give you joy. They can't give you peace. Um, in fact, they will give you nightmares. You will feel cursed. You will feel scared. You will feel terrified. Um, you may develop mental illnesses. That comes with the devil, because the devil is insane. Anybody who would deny Jesus Christ and leave heaven for an unknown place, deny the creator, that's insanity. Let's just, that's just insanity. I, I can't even relate. With all my faults, with all my sins, Holy Spirit is everything. You know, just everything. Everything. Uh, every person who has ever gotten addicted to food, drugs, alcohol, all of that, and then given up all of their wealth, all their worldly possessions, all their family for a feeling of joy, for a feeling of self-worth, for a vain imagination, would be going the south way to get uh, happiness. Me, I'm on the other side of the equation. I'm not putting anybody down. I'm on the other side of the equation. After having lost my health, my mental health, my physical health, 
my money, my job, my prestige, um, my um, husband, my chance at children, all of that gone, gone, gone. Family gone. Everything. I have the Holy Spirit. And I would not trade back. Because I get that same feeling of well-being, that same feeling of peace, joy, happiness, and I never have to take a pill. Never. I never have to think, if I just get this, then I'll be happy. If I just get that, then I'll be happy. If you're having thoughts like that, those thoughts are self thoughts. Those are the thoughts that lead to hell. Joy is a byproduct of the Holy Spirit of God in our hearts. Happiness is a sign that the Holy Spirit is in our hearts. Peace is a sign that the Holy Spirit is in our hearts. I don't have anything to attach those those feelings to except for that I have the Holy Spirit. It's a new month, new praise hey glory 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 yes lord yes 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 jesus loves you and guess what i love you with all the jesus in me be blessed beautiful